More than 200 million people have been infected by the coronavirus. Recently, the world has seen a rise in the cases because of the Delta variant. Less people are willing to take their jabs as there are claims that the vaccines aren't effective against this variant. But is this really true? To check this out, we have come to the University Clinic in Bonn, which is one of the biggest hospitals in Germany. We'll be talking to leading doctors here and try to understand how the Delta variant is affecting the coronavirus cases in Germany. Dr. Jens Christian Schäfer works in the intensive care unit. He says among those admitted to the hospitals with the Delta variant, only very few have been fully vaccinated. Currently, uh, we face only patients without any vaccinations, which is probably also caused by um, the situation that we didn't have uh, vaccinations available in the first and second wave. But when you look down or when you look back uh, to the last weeks, then we face only patients without vaccination. Does a full vaccination still protect against the Delta variant? Here is what some people say on social media. Ruin someone's day using only four words. The vaccine doesn't work. Some say the COVID vaccines are not working at all. False. The latest numbers show that recorded cases of the Delta variant in Germany make up 97% of all COVID cases. The number of hospitalizations is higher for this variant than it was for the initial one. COVID vaccines offer 100% protection from the Delta variant. False. According to experts and scientific evidence, there are three main reasons why some people who have been fully vaccinated can still be at risk of serious illness or even death due to the Delta variant. Looking at the efficacy rate of the vaccines, we see that none of them offer 100% protection against COVID-19. Dr. Somya Swaminathan is currently the chief scientist at the World Health Organization. She says all the corona vaccines help against the Delta variant. They all do protect against getting infected to varying degrees across the different vaccines. Um, but what's really important is that all of them protect against severe disease. One reason for a low efficacy is that there are people with a low immune response. The immune response varies from individual to individual and it's impacted by a number of factors and age is one of those factors as uh, in very young children and very old people the immune responses are usually quite are weaker than uh, they would be in a healthy adult. Underlying illnesses uh, and other risk factors can also impact the immune response. Reason number two is that vaccinated individuals' jabs can lack efficacy if they take specific medicines. People who have received immunosuppressive therapy or have had transplants do not respond quite as well to the vaccine. Despite the high efficacy of the approved vaccines, experts assume there is a waning effect. Therefore, a third reason is that the efficacy of the vaccination weakens with time. Aber die Impfwirksamkeit lässt halt nach und einige Menschen können halt unter unglücklichen Konstellationen dennoch eine schwere Erkrankung erleiden. The currently approved COVID vaccines do not offer enough protection against the Delta variant. False. The best chances of avoiding hospitalization or a deadly course of the Delta variant is by getting a full vaccination. The numbers vary in the trials and real life studies in various countries. The data currently available for the vaccines approved by the EU shows that they offer a very high protection. According to a Canadian study, the effectiveness of the BioNTech-Pfizer vaccination against the Delta variant in terms of completely preventing infection is at 56% after the first jab and at 87 after the full vaccination. According to the same study, the Moderna vaccine shows high protection from the Delta variant of 72% after the first dose. However, there is not enough data to show how high the protection is after two jabs. 
According to a UK study, people vaccinated with AstraZeneca are 71% protected after the first vaccination and 92% after the second. Johnson & Johnson itself claims that its vaccine produced a strong immune response. However, no precise figures have been provided and there is no independent data yet. All experts interviewed by DW are convinced that the vaccines are effective against the Delta variant. The vaccination is a very good tool, but it's not the only tool that we have to control this infection. And it's good to continue with those personal protective measures for some time to come. These first studied results indicate that the Delta variant is more resistant to the vaccines. But a full vaccination continues to provide strong protection even against this variant. Have you seen online misinformation about COVID-19 or the vaccines that we should check? Let us know in the comments below or send us an email to factchecking at dw.com.